present good morning to everyone welcome to our english class this video is a continuation of unit 1 prose his first flight by lion o flaherty uh, i narrated the story last class um, in detail um, here uh, there was a young seagull let me let me explain once more in uh, in brief Uh, there was a young seagull. Immediately after hatching, the parents uh, left him on the rock, and it was uh, left him on the rock. Um, at the same time, um, his parents taught him the art of flying, but uh, he, he couldn't able to uh, he able to fly. And due to the fear, and due to the fear and doubt, uh, he was not able to fly. that's why it suffered a lot it stayed it stayed on the rock without food and for a long time it was waiting for a long time and at uh, the, the same time it was expecting for the parents the uh, pa parents to help uh, to help him but uh, the parents uh, intention was to teach a lesson to this uh, to teach the art of flying um, to this bird so they were waiting for the bird but the bird thought um, they did not and they did not um, they, they did not take care of uh, the bird they that they are not concerned about this bird they so they left it in the rock at the same time it was searching for food everywhere on the rock uh, it was on the edge it was it was, it was standing on the edge of the rock uh, it was going uh, roaming here and uh, uh, it was roaming here and uh, it was searching for food it could see only the egg shells and the straws you get the excel and the straws so uh, the, the since there was no other choice uh, it ate the eggshells uh, eggshell that was that that was hatched that they uh, hatched so um, his parents uh, his parents were uh, his parents and uh, the brothers and sisters they were they, they they were taught how to dive in the sea how to catch fish and everything and this this young seagull was seeing what was going uh, in the opposite side of the cliff um for the parents were doing to the brothers and sisters so it was watching and it was very much worried and um, so finally yeah, the parents um, sorry his mother uh, came with a fish on the beak uh, beyond the beak it given it came uh, when even it came closer to the bird um, it straight it kept as it kept some distance it kept some distance and it was uh, it was it, it was uh, making the young seagull to come forward and to get the fish but the same uh, seagull was unable to come forward because on looking at the depth of the sea from the cliff uh, from the cliff at the same time uh, the fear and doubt that avoided and uh, that uh, that avoided the bird to uh, to go near to the mother so uh, it waited for a long time um, it waited for a, for, for a few minutes uh, without his knowledge he went forward to uh, to get the fish from the mother's beak finally it fell down and uh, when it fell down um, it was totally scared and finally when it, when, it, when it was close to the sea it could realize that it had wings so it started to flap the wings and it was able to balance the air and um, thus the zen cm seagull learned the art of flying the last class we saw page number in the last class we saw page number 2 and 3 and the the third page last come to the last paragraph she was standing on a little high hum on on the plateau plateau means i already told you it is a flat land uh, those who don't know just note down it um, her white uh, her white breast thrust forward now and again she tore a she tore a piece of fish that lay at her feet and then scraped each side of the beak on the rock the sight of the food maddened him um, how he loved to tear food uh, the way scraping his beak now and again to wet it he uttered a low crackle his mother crackled too and looked at him 
so this young seagull was uh, standing uh, standing in the rock and the opposite side on uh, the opposite side there was a plateau plateau means it's a flat land it is a flat land um, the mother was uh, it could see uh, it could see his mother was tearing a piece of fish and uh, trying to eat it on looking on looking at this uh, scene uh, the this young seagull was very much mad and this uh, since it was very hungry it was unable to bear the hunger so it was very much mad and um, and it was expecting his mother to provide the food here uh, the second line plateau that is a flat land um, here third line now and again now and again she tore a piece of fish tore t o r e that is a past tense of tear is tore past tense of tear is tore tore is a past tense present tense is tear no doubt it then come to last second line he uttered a low crackle he uttered uttered means expressed uttered means uttered means expressed then come to the next page page number 4 turn to page all of turn to page number 4 ga 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 he cried begging her to bring him over some food gaul o ha she screamed back mockingly but uh, but he kept calling uh, plaintively and after a minute uh, or so he uttered a joyful scream his mother had picked up a, a piece of fish um, and was flying across uh, across to him with it he learned out eagerly tapping the rock with his feet trying to get nearer to her as she flew across but when she was just opposite to him a breast of the ledge she halted her legs hanging uh, hanging limp her wings motionless the piece of fish in her beak almost within the reach of the beak so here uh, mother uh, a moment a moment earlier mother was tearing the, uh, tearing the fish and uh, eat, eating it uh, in the plateau uh, here uh, now the uh, i'm looking at the same seagull uh, and same seagull that was very hungry um it it had an intention to help the young seagull so it took a fish and came near to the um, came, came near to the young seagull uh, but it kept uh, when it went when it came closer to the young seagull it kept some distance the between the uh, between the cliff uh, between the rock and the it was uh, it was still uh, this uh, mother was uh, still motionless movementless in the air Uh, it kept some distance in order to uh, in order to um, make this young seagull to come forward and get the fish so that it would get could get the fish also it will learn the art of flying also that's why it wouldn't be teach a lesson and it was um, expecting uh, the young seagull to uh, to come near to the mother that's what it, it happened here here come to the third paragraph she screamed back mockingly scream means cry scream means cry back mockingly mockingly means criticizing mockingly means or uh, sorry uh, mockingly means criticize or imitate mocking means mocking criticize or imitate mock means criticize or irritate criticize or irritate mock means criticize or irritate then come to the fifth line um, 
but it kept calling plaintively after a minute uh, so he uttered a joyful scream he uttered uttered means expressed i told you is expressed a joyful scream scream means shout um joyful scream his mother had uh, listen to the book uh, his mother had picked up a fish and was flying across uh, with it he learned out um, sorry he leaned out eagerly tapping the rock with his feet trying to get nearer to her um, as she flew across but when she was just opposite to her, to her a burst of the ledge um, ledge means the pointed surface ledge means the pointed end, end of the rock pointed end of the rock um, she halted halted h a l t e d halted means stop halted means stopped she halted her uh, legs hanging limp her wings motionless the piece of fish in her beak almost within the reach of his beak come to next paragraph he waited a moment in surprise wondering why she was not uh, why she did not come nearer and then maddened by hunger he dived at the fish with a loud scream he fell outwards and downwards into space his mother was Uh, his mother had uh, swept upwards as he had passed beneath her he heard the shush of her wings here um, when the mother came closer closer to the rock and it, uh, she was still uh, she kept some distance uh, uh, keeping some distance and it was uh, unable to uh, it, it want to make the young seagull to come closer to the Uh, mother and get the fish so that it, it, it could uh, learn the art of flying also it could get the fish also that was intention of the mother she did that so uh, it waited for a few seconds it was unable to tolerate so this young uh, seagull um, without its knowledge it moved it went forward it went forward and and fell from the rock so it was going it was it was going down um down on the, the, the from the from the top of the rock and it, it was screaming it was screaming la as the screaming and shouting at the same time um his mother was just flying above the bird she wanted to uh, she wanted to know whether this a uh, bird was able to fly up not then come to the next paragraph then a mo- monstrous terror seized him and his host heart stood still he could hear nothing but it only lasted a moment the next moment he felt his wings spread outwards the wings rushed against the against his breast for this then under his stomach and against his and against his wings he could feel the tips of the wings cutting through uh, through the air uh, he was not falling uh, head long now uh, he was uh, soaring gradually um, downwards and outwards he was no longer afraid he just felt a bit dizzy then he flapped his wings once and he soared upwards so uh um, it, it couldn't it couldn't wait wait uh, it couldn't wait because of hunger it moved forward and fell from the rock so when it was falling uh, it uh, felt the sense of danger um, since it had no experience of flying so it was a, a, in the initial stage it did not flap the wings 
so it was uh, go strike is going vertically downwards later um, uh, later uh, due to fear it started to flap the wings and it was able to balance in the air and finally realized uh, it, uh, finally realized it was not in danger and it, it could manage the air also um, so finally uh, it was able to uh, it was able to uh, fly it, uh, that means it uh, learned the art of flying here come to this uh, third line but it only lasted a moment the line is very important L uh, the but it uh, only lasted a moment the next moment moment means the next time immediately after that the next minute he felt his wings spread outwards the wind uh, rushed against the breast for this then under the st stomach and against his wings he could feel the tips of the wings cutting through the air uh, he was not falling head long now he was soaring gradually gradually means little by little gradually means little by little gradually downwards and outwards he was uh, no longer afraid underline this line he he was no longer afraid this is a way of uh, using the negative negative uh, statements he was no longer afraid he just felt a bit dizzy dizzy means spinning of head just like head day there is a other type of type that is called as spinning of head that is called as dizzy d i z z o y Then he flapped his wings once and he soared upwards. Come to the next paragraph. He uttered a joyful scream and flapped them again. He soared higher. Uh, he raised his breast and banged against the wind. Ga, ga, ga. Um, Golov, uh, his mother, uh, his mother uh, swooped past him. Uh, her wings making a loud noise. He answered her. Uh, with another scream then his father flew over him screaming and then he saw his two brothers and sister flying around him soaring and dying so um, when his parents realized it was able to um, able to make use of the feathers uh, make, make use of the wings uh, by flapping uh, they realized that uh, they, they realized um, it could manage the air also, it could get, get a good balance of the air also, there, so, so there will be no danger hereafter. So the parents were very happy at the same time, his brothers and sister, they were, um, they were flying around the same seagull um, due to joy. Then come to the next paragraph. Then he completely forgot that he had not always been able to fly and commenced to die and soar shirking and shrilly uh, he was near to the sea now flying straight over it facing out over the ocean he saw a vast green sea beneath him with a little ridges moving over it he turned his beak uh, sideways and crowd Amusedly, his parents and his brothers and sister had landed on the green floor in front of him. They were uh, beckoning, to, uh, beckoning to him, calling shrilly. He dropped his legs to stand on the green sea. His legs sank into it. He screamed with fright and attempted to rise again, flapping his wings. But he was, um, but he was tired and weak with hunger. He could not uh, rise, uh, rise exhausted by strange exercise. Exhausted means tired. By strange exercise, he, uh, his feet sank into the green sea. Then his belly touched it. 
he sank no further um, he was floating on it and around him his family was screaming praising him and his beaks were offering with uh, offering him scraps of dog fish he had made his first flight Exhausted means very tired. So uh, the parents were uh, the parents, brothers and sister. They were rounding the same seagull, and um, they were very they were very happy uh, to see the same seagull um, learning the uh, having learned the art of flying. So uh, when it was closer to the sea, uh, the same seagull was a little scared. But this uh, again this. parents um, father seagull mother seagull and also the brothers and sister sister they landed the sea and uh, the surface of the sea first and they were just swimming on the sea so when it fell, when the same seagull um, fell into the sea uh, when near to the sea and fell, uh, fell into the sea um, it, it went little de- little uh, yeah, it must little de- little and it arrived once more just like a ball bouncing it just arrived uh, over the surface and it was floating then it uh, realized there will be no danger and they finally uh, the parents uh, parents they taught t- the same seagull the art of uh, uh, diving for fish um, uh, diving for fish and also the art of uh, skimming the waves and also the art of uh, swimming everything was taught so the, the this was a first experience of the young seagull here in page number 4 and 5 five questions are there sorry six questions are there Come to the question. What did the young seagull do to seek the attention of his parents? This answer is in page number three. Page number three, um, second paragraph. He stepped slowly out of the brink of the ledge. Standing on the one leg with the with the other hid, uh, hidden under his wings, he gave, he closed one eye, then the other, and pretended to be falling asleep. That is the answer. Then, what made the young seagull go mad? What made the young seagull go mad? what made the young seagull go mad uh, the from the story just understand it oh, what made the young seagull go mad on looking at the from the story itself you can answer it and looking at the um, uh, and uh, looking at the parents brothers and sisters um, tearing the fish and uh, picking up the piece of fish um, and tearing that fly, that made the young seagull go mad here answer is in page number 4 first paragraph his mother had picked up a fish and was flying across him with it he learned eagerly and tapping the rock on his feet trying to go nearer to his uh, to her uh, as she felt across but when she was opposite to him Uh, a breast of the ledge she halted this is uh, from this you have to take the answer this pair uh, from this page then uh, he waited a uh, moment in surprise one uh, uh, wondering why she did not come here uh, then maddened by hunger uh, he died at the fish with a loud scream this is in pa- second paragraph the answer is in the second paragraph um, 
in the screenshot in the pdf screenshot i will uh, i will send you the in text question and answers so you can learn from that uh, just understand just try to get the meaning while i was teaching okay, right, uh, try to get the answer while i was teaching then come to next question why did the young bird uh, utter a joyful scream the young the young bird saw his mother picking up a fish and flying across him seeing it it the bird uttered a joyful scream here in page number 4 the top is there but he kept calling plaintively after a minute he uttered a joyful scream his mother picked uh, here his mother picked up a fish and it was flying across with it from here to here his mother um he uttered a, joy, a joyful scream his mother had picked up a piece of fish and was flying across him with it that is the answer then come to next question what did the uh, did the mother bird offer any food to the young seagull did the mother bird offer any food to the seagull from the story itself we can take it it came, mother came closer but did not provide any food so the answer is no no the uh, no the uh, mother did not provide offer food to this in seeker then come to the next question how did the bird feel when it started flying for the first time when it start uh, he felt his wings spread outwards his wings rushed against the breast for this stomach and wings he could feel uh, uh, feel the tips of the wings cutting through the yeah uh, he fell outwards and downwards in space it is in page number 4 second paragraph uh, his mother had swooped uh, upwards he passed beneath her he heard a swish uh, of her flight in the, the come to next paragraph the answer is also the, the continuation is there there is a monster uh, monster stirrer seized uh, him and his heart stood still he could hear nothing but it only lasted a moment then uh, the next moment he felt his wings spread outwards the wings rushed against the breast for this then under his stomach agarasi wings he could feel the tip of the wind cutting through the air that is answer from the fourth page last paragraph from the third line the moment the next moment he felt the wings spread out outwards the wings rushed against his breast for this then under the stomach and again as his wings he could feel the tips of the wings cutting through the air that is the answer then come to next question what did they birds family do when he started flying they were the the parents the brothers and sisters they were they flew around him praising and, uh, and they were very happy uh, with, uh, in order to express the hap- happiness they they flew around him and making a joyful scream the divi in front of this is seeker that is answer all these answers i will give you in the pdf screenshot um, and send to you thank you uh, now we are going to see here i have given a few meanings a few meanings i have written on the board now down the meaning in the notebook the rest of the meanings i will send it to you in the pdf um a third is expressed mock means criticize scream means shout lurch means pointed end halted means stop gradually little by little dizzy spinning of head dizzy generally we experience often dizziness dizzy spinning of head exhausted very tired once more a third expressed mock criticize scream shout 
lurch, point dent, halter, stop, gradually, little by little, dizzy, spinning upward, exhausted, very tired. When you come to the next class, um, uh, you should get, uh, you should be ready to write a sh short test, uni, uni test. So you will send to the syllabus today. Um, what are send to the page number? Or, uh, what are the page numbers you have to st study? The question numbers will be mostly from inside the textbook, not from book bag exercise. In order to know your creativity, questions will be asked. The, that means you have to read the text thoroughly and underline the uh, know the meaning of each and every line. Thank you. Have a nice day.